So I work on sexually deceptive orchids that trick a little wasp into mating with it. And that's how the orchid gets pollinated. The main thing that's interesting about this relationship is that the wasps will actually waste their sperm on the orchid. And it's not like with humans. So with humans, you have unlimited amount of sperm, but with wasps, they only emerge when they're born with a little bit of sperm, um, which means that they can run out and therefore they'll completely lose any opportunity to have offspring. The females, when they don't get sperm, can still reproduce, um, but all their offspring will be male. So in a way, the orchids are manipulating the population of their wasps so that there's more males in the population and there's more opportunities for the orchids to get pollinated. There are lots of costly relationships in the world. There's not just sexually deceptive orchids tricking wasps into wasting sperm. There are other things that remain unexplained. So um, brood deception, for instance, where a cuckoo will fly in, knock an egg out of the nest and lay its own egg and get somebody else to raise its baby for it. In my PhD, I'm hoping to come up with this new idea of resilience traits, which is this idea that there's a trait unique to a group, a species, that allow them to persist um, in the costly relationship over time. So in my wasps, it's this idea that females can reproduce even though they don't have sperm, but in brood deception, it might be something else in that bird that raises the, somebody else's baby. And I'm hoping to look into all these different things and find out different resilience traits eventually.